All right. Hello there. And episode one of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier just dropped. Honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I think I'm enjoying it partially, mainly because it's actually grasping more of the fact that things are hard for people now that everything's gone back to normal. After five years of half of the population being gone, suddenly coming back, it's it, there's a lot of struggle for a lot of people, and it's hinting more at that. And I'm actually really enjoying that about this story. However, the, it starts out with basically Sam fighting these people through the air who are in wingsuits, normal wingsuits. And the fact that they're able to fly into other uh, into other choppers and things like that is just ridiculous. I was getting a Fast and the Furious vibe. And what normally what I liked about, well, the Marvel movies was even though they're ridiculous, they're anchored in some kind of reality. So when something ridiculous happened, they're wearing like a, an Iron Man suit or a Falcon suit or something. They, they have super strength, something that's actually redeemable. But here these people are flying in a wingsuit, flying directly into an open chopper. That just made no sense. That was ridiculous, and I wasn't a big fan of that. Also, they were using wings through suits through canyons. Through canyons. And the fact that no, not a single person died, well, eventually, but they died to missiles and things like that. That just doesn't make much sense. I don't want to spoil much, so that's basically what I'm going to say, and that happens right in the beginning. But it does pick up. I don't really care much for Sam's story. I do like that they're trying to touch at the fact that he's trying to get back together with his family and things like that. But what I really, really enjoy is the checkered past of Bucky Barnes. Now, that's what I'm really enjoying. I'm looking forward to more of that. Oh, gosh. It's all fresh in my head. I guess the goal of this episode was just to let you know what's going on with the characters. What if? Because that's what most of Marvel has been doing. Uh, neglecting in these these catch-up stories like uh instantly in spider-man they're all back to normal and one and uh uh wandavision instantly everything seems to get back to normal after one giant panic because they're all controlled in one city but here you're actually in the world as everything's falling back together after a month one thing i did not like is they're giving captain america this great send-off yet iron man the man who died to save everyone's lives, to bring half the population back, is not really even mentioned. It's all about Captain America, the, the one who, of course people don't know, the one who ran away to live a long life, when technically that's what Iron Man wanted to do. Yet, the, it's basically, they flip-flopped, and now <laughs> here Captain America's getting all the praise. But even though I'm not a big fan of how it was all done in, in the end, the way this was made was at the very end, the kind of big reveal at the end of the episode is to make people feel the way Bucky Barnes and Sam would feel. Angry, upset, betrayed. That's the goal. That was the point of the last part of the episode. That I'm excited to see where this goes. It's still too ridiculous, but I am enjoying Bucky Barnes' character more now that we get more time with him. Sam... I think I was thrown out with that ridiculous fight uh, in the beginning. Uh, hopefully it'll come back and it'll be fun when they start working together because even now they they don't exactly keep in touch. That's the thing. It's just like apparently they've grown apart. Uh, that's my thoughts on episode one. Hopefully it gets better. It might get worse. Who knows what they're doing. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Toodles. Toodles.